Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, let's have some fun. Finally, out on the bike, open roads. Yes! So while I'm heading towards Cheddar, where I'm gonna do another video, let's talk about A2 license and what bikes you can get. Because the actual A2 website, it, 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 it is faulted in, in, in some places. It's, it, it's not the truth. Now most of it is, and the whole A2 license is very mushy. I don't think the government actually know exactly what's in place because I think uh, the website Visor Down asked loads of questions and some of them they just didn't bother answering. This is very fishy, but you can find out exactly what thing, like what is needed for an A2. So if you don't know what an A2 is, it's basically the license between unrestricted and a 125. You can get it at a minimum age of 19 and you must have it for two years before you can upgrade to a full license. If you're 24, you can go straight to direct, direct access and completely skip out the whole A2 license. It's very expensive, it's about 750 quid, or about 700 quid for the whole test and days of training and stuff. Uh, it varies in some places, but that's that. I should really turn this camera on, let's do that right now. There we go. Right, well, that's basically the A2 license. Um, so you, with an A2 license, you're restricted to 47 brake horsepower. Uh, any bike with 47 brake horsepower or less. Now you can restrict anything that has 94 brake horsepower or less down to 47. Nothing above 94. So that's double 47. Okay, simple. But it must have, I think it's like a 0 0.2 uh, weight to ratio. Uh, spec which gets a little bit complicated because some people think it's on the dry weight some people think it's on the wet weight of the bike some people think it's with the rider as well so I'm gonna get this down it is apparently from what I think uh, the visor down website say it is on wet weight so that's with the bike full of fuel full of oil everything like that Okay, it's the wet weight of the bike, not with the rider, just the wet weight of the bike, which puts in this bike a category of an A2 license you can have it on. Now the A2 website, it's called A2 Bikes I think, actually says you cannot have this bike on an A2 because of the power weight ratio, but they've taken the specs off the off some website that does it with the dry weight of the bike. So with the dry weight of the bike, this specific bike with the dry weight cannot be ridden on an A2 license. However, with the wet weight of the bike, it can. It's in that bull mark. And I've asked a load of dealerships, it can be restricted, etc, etc. Now it's, it's the same with a few bikes. I can't remember the other ones. I think it might be the Monster 796 or something like that, where they can actually be ridden on an uh, A2 license. The A2 website gets it wrong. So it's worth searching into that if you're looking into a bike. If the A2 website says it cannot be ridden on an A2 license, just check it. Do do your own calculations, okay? Even call up the, the manufacturers of the bike. So ring up the Caddy, ring up KTM, and just ask. Now a couple of other bikes that you can actually get on an A2 license is the Street Triple, the KTM Duke 790, um, and, and a couple other ones. Um, and that's because the manufacturers actually do uh, an A2 version of the bike. So let's talk about the KTM 790 Duke. That has a, over 100 brake horsepower, I think it's 105. That might be the street triple, can't remember. But it, it, it is over the 94 brake horsepower ball mark. However, if you get hold of Triumph, which I was, I was doing, um, before I bought this bike, before I got my R3 as well, I was actually going to get the Street Triple. And what they do is they get one from France, they, they actually build it from France, and the engine is tuned, so it comes straight out 94, and then they restrict it, ECU restrict it down to, um... Ah! I knocked down my helmet up again! <laughs> uh, the whole time you've looked on that camera, you're like, Drake, your helmet's 
not done up. Wait, no, it is done up. Is it done up? I can't tell, like, it's not tight. Does it come loose? I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to pull over and check it in a sec. Yeah, so I was actually getting out, getting hold of. Uh, I was actually getting hold of Triumph. I've already said that, didn't I? I said that bit. I get distracted too quickly now. Um, that's yeah, nice. And the same with the 790 Duke. So, if you really want those bikes, you can get them A2 restricted. There's a couple of other ones, so it's worth searching into that stuff. I never went with the street triple in the end because it costs a lot of money get for one getting it basically a brand you're getting a brand new bike you have to cool up and get it ordered and then it takes like three months as well for it to actually get built and stuff because um, it's very very rare you'll actually find one but they can do it the 790 duke i believe is a little bit more easy to get hands on like a restricted version but yeah so so it's worth doing your own research into certain bikes for your A2, okay? So this bike specifically, the du uh, Ducati Hypermotor 796, can be restricted for an A2 license, okay? And you can buy the little kit, the little washer kit, you can throttle restrict it as well, so it can be done. So there you go. I'm now off to Cheddar because it's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm, while I'm over there, I'm going to do a video all about why I bought the Ducati. So, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. The video will be out very, very soon. Or, if you're watching this late, it's already out and you can go on my channel and check it out. So, that's that. I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, peace! I probably sounded like I sneezed. Right. I'm going to have some fun. Safe fun. Speed limit fun. I can smell that guy's vape from back here. It smells nicely. Yeah, there's the coppers. Yeah, he, you, you let him go. You, you know. He knows. <laughs> like, I don't want him to hear my exhaust.